going to do a different video, like really, really different. It is not beauty related at all. And today I'm going to go through all of my Facebook profile pictures through my Facebook history and um, I haven't uh, seen my pictures in a while so I'm a bit scared of which pictures will come up um, but yeah I've seen this video tag I don't even know if it's a tag or not but um, I've seen this video float around on YouTube lately and it's just been so much fun to watch other people's profile pictures and see how they've evolved and how they started out and how they look now and so on and yeah I just thought it was a really fun idea so I thought I want to do that too. So I've got my phone here and I'm just going to go onto my Facebook page there and let's begin. Okay so the first picture um, is really really old, it's the oldest one, um, it's actually from when I was, I think I was 12, 13, something like that. And I remember I just bought a new curl and iron and I just really wanted to curl my hair and I curled it and it was really cool and womanly and I just felt so cool. Um, but unfortunately I actually burnt myself um, with a curling iron and I was just like, oh no, I just really want to take a picture, oh my god. And then um, I just took some of the hair here as you can see, put it down there and then I was just like, oh. Smile and yeah, I got the photo, but oh my god, I was just inside. I just remember I was literally like going, oh, 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 it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Um, so that was just actually a funny memory. Um, so yeah, and actually, it was also not even made for YouTube, it was made for like um, for a Danish old chat website called Arto. Um, if any of you guys remember Arto. Thumbs up to you. Next photo is from, um, oh my god, that is so tacky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is um, a bit of a tacky photo in my mind. Um, it was from, I just got home from a dance competition, I remember, and I was actually still wearing like the costume, and um, yeah, I was wearing a fake tan, it was really orange, and my hair was down, I was just feeling sexy and cool, and oh yeah, <laughs> and I was also, you know, like my belly was showing as well, so I was just like, oh yeah, see me, see me, I'm so beautiful, and oh my god, I hate those photos, and I can't believe that I was like that as well. These are the times where I wish that I could tell my 15-year-old self, don't do those kind of photos, they are so tacky. Next is one more of those tacky photos, I just done my hair again, curled it, and I was just so proud, and I was just like, See me, I'm just so beautiful. <laughs> um, really not that flattering a photo, but I had a really nice tan. Next photo is a really nice photo in my mind. Um, it is a photo of me and one of my best friends from um, my childhood. Um, and this is from our first like party at our high school. And um, yeah, we were just having the time of our lives really. It was such a great party and I just remember that we had so much fun and got a bit drunk as well, but it was just so much fun and I just think back on that photo and I'm just going like, oh my god, such great memories. So that is actually a really good profile picture, even though I do look a bit drunk. Next is a photo from my hippie time. It was also from my first year in my high school. Um, I was hanging out with some bit more groovy people than what I normally was. So um, yeah, this photo is so much fun actually. I, I really find it funny actually because it is just so not me. That hat and that scarf and just the oversized t-shirt. I mean, it is just not me at all. And um, as you can see in the background, it's got like peace sign and uh, some photos of Bob Marley as well. It was at home with my, uh, one of my best friends and <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's just so weird to see see myself like that because that is so not me at all. Next photo is from also high school. We had this um, special gymnastics day. I think all high schools have got such a day where you do a lot of sports and so on. Oh yeah, it's called sports day, something like that. And we were dressed up like pirates, and that was really really fun. I was wearing a scarf around my head and a or whatever you call it, um, on my eye, and 
I just written um, second W because that was what our class was called and I was just so cool and pirate-ish and I just remember it was so much fun. We lost everything at that sports day. We were just not a sport team or class at all. I am the worst person when it comes to like football or handball or tennis or anything that has to do with balls. Give me some dancing shoes and I will knock your socks off. Next photo is from Copenhagen actually when I went to see Les Miserables um, at the New Theater um, and it was such a great musical, I love Les Miserables and um, yeah I remember I was there with my best um, childhood friend, I think it was our first trip to Copenhagen without any parents or anything like that so we were just totally on our own and it was just such a cool experience to actually be all by ourselves and take care of ourselves and so on and I remember we felt so grown up and so cool. Next photo is one of my favorite photos of my profile photos actually. Um, it is from a dance competition um, where I was wearing my favorite, favorite dress, um, which was striped and then it had a really nice big red rose hair and huge earrings. And I don't know if you can see it, but those earrings were actually glued to my ear because back then I didn't have my ears pierced. I first got my ears pierced at the age of 18 and I think it was like 16 in this picture so I had to glue my um, earrings to my ears. I look back on my dancing career when I was a competitive dancer as one of the best times of my life. Um, I had the most amazing dance partner, he was so sweet to me and we had the best times and I really, I, I seriously miss that time so, so much and I wish that I could go back in time and actually experience it all again because uh, it was just such a great time practicing every single day, just having a goal, you know, like that you set yourself that you wanted to become better and better and better and grow and grow and grow and evolve and you were practicing all day long. It was just, it was so cool and yeah, my childhood was just filled with that. Oh, I get all nostalgic. Mm. Then we come to a really transforming picture in my mind. It was kind of like the cutting edge from my childhood to my like teen or more grown up um, years. And um, that was when I cut my hair short. Um, I cut my hair totally short when I was 18 because I wanted to make a statement that I wasn't a kid anymore and that I was grown up and I was 18 and it was a new stage in my life. Um, I remember I got so many mixed like reviews on my hair. Some people really loved it, other people thought it was so, I don't know, too out there. I mean, I'm from a small town and in that everyone had to have like really long hair, blonde hair, curly hair, you know, like really pretty like in the magazines and I was just like, hell no, I want to be different, I want to do something different that nobody else is going to do. So I cut my hair off, chopped it off, didn't even think about it and I loved it. I felt so free. Um, it may sound weird but I felt more womanly with my short hair than what I do now with my long hair. And it's kind of weird, right? Because you would think that it would be the other way around, but it's really not. I felt so free and beautiful and strong and independent and actually I'm totally 100% sure that I'm going to cut my hair again. Um, not now because I'm still growing out my hair. I really like having long hair to work with now, but I actually sometimes really do miss my short hair. It just suited me so nicely and looked so good on me and for sure I'm gonna get it again one day. I'm totally sure of that. Then we've got a photo from, um, from my high school as well, from one of our parties. This is a Danish tradition but we've got something called Fesselam, which is kind of like Halloween where you kind of like dress up and so on and it's kind of like a kid's day. Um, and yeah, I was dressed as... Um, the White Swan from uh, The Black Swan, the movie, um, with Natalie Portman, and um, I just really loved it. I remember I'd done my makeup like really, really nicely. I covered my entire face from my nose and then up to my forehead with some white shimmery, um, white eyeshadow. And then I was wearing like a white um, ballet dress, which I ordered online, and 
yeah, I just felt so beautiful. I remember that night so well because it was just one of the best parties I've ever been to. It was so much fun. Then we come to my gala dress from um, when we had the gala on our school and yeah, it was a sand dress that I ordered online. Actually, I think that was the best party I've ever been to because you were all dressed up, we were dancing and just having fun. It was kind of like old school gala-ish, so it was just such a great night and I will look back on that night forever and just have really great feelings about it. Then I graduated, oh my god, that is just one of the best days of my life when I graduated from my high school. Um, I was so proud and my family was there to congratulate me and also my old boyfriend was there and his mom and yeah, we were just all celebrating, being so happy and I just look back on that time with so much joy in my heart and I get so nostalgic and almost get tears in my eyes because it was just such a great experience and I was just so proud and happy and I was just so happy, it was just an amazing time and I wish I could go back and relive that moment. Then the next picture is actually um, a bit more of a sad picture. Um, this is taken from the time when I was going through a really difficult time in my life. I was going through a life crisis, lost um, some family members, lost a boyfriend and lost just so much and I just felt like I lost so much in my life that I couldn't really figure out who I was anymore. All of the things that I'd loved and had like made me feel like myself was like, kind of like taken from me and I was just I get so sad when I think back on it because I just remember feeling like that I was so lost I was lost in myself in the world and I just didn't really feel like being anywhere or just being at all luckily I had some really supportive um, parents and a really supportive family and network as well my friends and so on I learned so much from it and I also gained a lot of knowledge about who I was because I had to do a lot of soul searching to actually find into my core and find myself again, but God, I would not want to go back again. Never, ever. This is actually a photo that I took of myself recently and it just makes me so happy because I was wearing this t-shirt with a giant elephant on it, it's very bohemian-ish and it just brings up good karma, I think. I mean. I'm very much into being happy and living in the moment and enjoying life now because I feel like I've been through so many things in my life so I just really want to be happy and have good karma around me and just yeah enjoy life really. I am happier than I've ever been right now and going through all of these photos wow they just remind me of so many great memories also some more sad memories um, but um, it's been a journey and life is a journey obviously and you keep on learning, you keep on growing throughout your entire life. Things happen for a reason and I am who I am today because of those memories. Okay, I thought this video was going to be more fun and playful and so on but actually it got more like emotional to me and I hope that's okay with you guys that um, that it wasn't a totally bubbly up there video but it was more like about me and my personal experiences and so on because of those photos obviously um so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on my instagram where i post photos also from my um, younger years as well and also if you're interested i also do a blog um, where I do a lot of fashion um, posts and beauty posts as well, swatches, reviews and I also have done some more personal um, posts as well about my life. So that is right there, the link, um, so please go check that one out as well. So thank you very much for watching this video and have the most amazing day. Bye! Give me some of that! Oh my god!